name is Richard Fields. I'm from Tennessee and New Mexico. <laughs> John Wright from Marietta, Ohio. My name is Rick Kaufman. I'm from Long Island. I live here Park. My dojo is in Smithtown. Michael Barreca. I'm from uh, Middle Island. My name is Lou de Blasi. I started my karate career when I was 67. Now I'm 78, or will be in November. My name is Nate Herzog. I'm from Seattle, Washington. My name is Clint Hepler. And I'm from here in the Grove City area, Pennsylvania. My name is Penelope Hepler. How long have you been training in karate? About five years. My, uh, my style is Shorty Goju. I've been studying that for 35 years. I uh, started in martial arts in Matsubayashi Shonen 42 years ago. Today I'm refining my techniques and advancing them to newer levels. Sensei Fijiani, and I've hosted by uh, Sensei Hatsu. My Sensei started for Shoko Ru, which is a combination of Goju Ru and Shoren Ru karate. On the showroom room, we're following Matsubayashi Road, and now we're affiliated with uh, Master Fijiani uh, SRK. The Grove City Seminar has been very awesome. Um, I think that Sensei Kong said did an awesome job putting it together and brought in a lot of, uh, brought together a lot of like minded people. And uh, I, what I find to be wonderful is that we can have really inexperienced martial artists and very high ranking martial artists together training with all the same mind, in the same way, and everybody learning something. And I think that represents Fujani Sensei's approach to the martial arts, the more diversity, the better it is. Okay. My style is Matsubashi Shongo. No, I did Tempo, and Jiro, and Iedo. In karate, is never met a bad person. Everybody is always um, obliging, friendly, loving, which is very important. Having been asked what is the one thing that I can take away from this meeting or some of the other meetings where we've gone to other dojos is the fact that uh, I've been blessed to be physically fit at this age and still pretty functional. And I think that it gives uh, people who are younger a definite picture of the fact that um, you can, if you want to, and you want to work hard enough, you can actually be a karate practitioner for the rest of your life. You don't have to stop when you're at a certain age or in a, in a particular era of your life. I met Sensei Jerry when he was 17 years old. And I was a 34-year-old football coach. I was a high school football and lacrosse coach. Sensei Jerry was 17 years old playing on a football team that was our rival. That was the first time I met Sensei Jerry. Um, and I knew who he was. I, I knew his name. He was a good athlete. And, you know, he, he, he might have known who I was. I, I had s somewhat of a, of a good name as a, as a coach on my own. Um, but uh, we didn't see each other for I don't know, 30 years and when I was 67 I decided to go out and instead of uh, being a weightlifter and running and riding my bike I was looking for a different way to exercise so I thought I would try martial arts and I was driving in my car and I saw a sign on a building East Coast Black Belt Karate so I thought let me stop here and find out what they have so I parked my car, walked inside, and who was at behind the desk? Jerry Figiani. But I didn't realize it at the time until we started talking and he asked me what I did for a living. I told him I was an economics and political science teacher and I was a high school football and lacrosse coach. And he goes, oh, I played football in, in, in high school too. I said, oh, who did you play for? And he said, Sachem High School. I said, well, gee, I coached against Sage in high school, and then we we realized that we had both been in the same at the same time at the same place when he was 17, and here we were again. How ironic is that? Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> I can't believe it. That's right. And so now, instead of my being a guy coaching against him, he's now my sensei.
Wow. And I'm old enough to be his father. <laughs> <laughs> My experience was that uh, I didn't know that uh, there was a show and real establishment here in uh, Grove City. And uh, I know that uh, Sensei Dave is working very hard to, to increase it and make it grow. And uh, I like the energy that I see here. And uh, I hope that uh, in due time, you you grow e even more, and I think you have your, your roots in the ground, and you're ready to grow, and I think that it will, it will become big here in, in Grove City. That's the one thing I'm, I'm going to bring, the <laughs> attitude and, and the, the promise of, of this place. This is like new, new territory, you know? It's exciting. Yeah, help speed.